World War I monument is still months away from its big reveal in Baraboo this fall, but just in time for Memorial Day. The artist and local history teacher behind the masterpiece are giving us a preview. Our Christina Laurie spent the day in Baraboo, learning the stories of the survivors, the victims, and the heroes depicted in that monument. An eclectic mix of carvings and clay sculptures at Homer Dam Studio here in Baraboo. And today we're getting a first look at a new World War I memorial that won't be unveiled for six months. You know, you hear that one-liner, bumper stickers usually, freedom isn't free. This Memorial Day, a time for reflection. Yeah, as I grew up, I thought about that a lot. And confusion. And it didn't, didn't make much sense, because for me it was free. Baraboo High School history teacher Steve Argo hopes a new memorial dedicated to local survivors of the 1918 sinking of the SS Tuscania will serve as a long overdue tribute to the 21 men from Baraboo who were rescued by British soldiers. The Tuscania was a luxury liner torpedoed 100 years ago in 1918 by a German U-boat while bringing American troops to Europe. They want to be remembered for what they did. Local artist Homer Dan has been carving a place in history for the Baraboo 21. I've been so involved with it. He's worked all hours of the day and night for three years now. You just keep getting deeper and deeper into it. Becoming a student of his craft, learning the history behind it from Argo and the articles and books lining his whimsical workshop. The whole shop, the whole, all the walls are covered with with um, things that aided in making it authentic. He's now molding the final pieces of the project before sending it away to a foundry for bronzing. I, I only have two more weeks left and I, I know when I take it away I'll, uh, I'll miss it. But the memorial won't be gone for long. It'll take its permanent place on display in Oshner Park this November. As a history teacher, my, my worry sometimes is that American society is becoming so ahistorical. We're so focused on the future and moving rapidly into the future that we sometimes tend to f dismiss the past. Taking time to reflect and learn what freedom really means. Freedom isn't fair. It's, it's free for guys like me, but it's not, it's not fair. It's not, it's not equally shared by members of our society. Anyone is welcome to come to Homer's studio from noon until 3, any day until mid-June, to check out his work. He's also available by appointment. He says he'll see anyone, any time of day or night. For News 3, I'm Christina Laurie. Good history lesson there. Argo has raised $40,000 for the project so far, but he's still hoping to raise another $35,000. We have a link to the site where you can donate on our website, channel3000.com.